Walnut Canyon National Monument is home to 69 species of mammals, 28 species of reptiles and amphibians, and 121 species of birds. Most visitors do not get to see these great animals in the wild. Visitors are allowed to explore the Rim and Island Trails, but cannot go beyond the Mark Trails, limiting the interaction between man and nature. Although many of the animals in Walnut Canyon are large, they may be difficult to spot. Coyotes, mule deer, elk, and black bears are among Walnut Canyon's biggest animals. With a little knowledge of their traits and behavior, along with the knowledge of their ideal habitats, anyone can spot these beautiful creatures in the wild. Coyotes are prominent in history, folklore, and in American culture. Smaller than wolves but larger than dogs, coyotes are small, agile creatures. Coyotes typically sport gray to yellow coats with black markings on their tails. Arizona coyotes are known to have yellow desert coats. These animals are typically spotted in pairs or in small groups, as they tend to hunt together. Coyotes prefer to hunt at night, however, they can be spotted during the daytime. Coyotes like to feed on small animals like rabbits, mice, and squirrels. However, they can also eat snakes, birds, lizards, and even larger mammals like deer. Coyotes typically do not go beyond 15 miles of their dens. These animals are perfectly capable of creating their own dens, but similar to humans, if they find a home that is already built and suited for their needs, coyotes will inhabit abandoned burrows. Coyotes are considered to be good parents. Both father and mother take care of their pups and protect them. Just like human babies, coyote pups grow surprisingly fast. Once the pup matures, they tend to leave the pack. And similar to domestic dogs, coyotes communicate through a series of yips, barks, and howls. And while they can be heard during the daytime, they are typically heard around dusk when they start to become active. If visitors are around during closing time, they may be able to spot a pack of coyotes. Another large mammal at Walnut Canyon is the mule deer. Mule deer look like any other deer, but their most distinguishing feature are their ears. The mule deer have large ears that move constantly and independently. Think of radar antennas that are trying to get a hold of a signal. Essentially, their ears are doing just that. Their ears are moving to allow the deer to hear better. Most mule deer have a yellow or reddish brown coat during the summer, and in the winter, they have a more gray coat. Their throat patch, rump patch, inside ears, and inside legs are white with portions being cream to tan color. Mule deer have a dark V-shaped mark extending from a point between their eyes up towards their ear. This mark is a characteristic of all mule deer, however it is more distinguished in male deer. Male deer are larger than females and during the spring male have antlers. Deer are more active at night or early morning and like to lay down in tall grass during the day. They typically like to go to bed in the shade and stay cool during the daytime. The diet of a mule deer are green leaves, herbs, weeds, and grasses. They also like to eat vegetables, twigs, and they are fond of blackberries, raspberries, vines, and grapes. While most visitors will not see deer on the trails, they can see signs of deer presence by looking at scrapes on the tree and patches of grass flattened out. A mammal larger than deer is an elk. Elk are the second largest animal in the deer family, second to the moose with them being the largest. Similar to deer, only male elk, also known as bulls, grow antlers, and female elk, also known as cows, do not grow antlers. By early September, bull antlers are fully grown, just in time for mating season. During the season, elk start to form harems, typically with 15 to 20 cows. After mating, the cow will separate from the herd and seek out dense cover to prepare a nursery. After a cow gives birth, she and her calves will seek out other females and form a small herd to raise their calves together. After about two or three weeks, calves are able to run and be able to be part of the herd. Herd sizes can include hundreds of elk, however, the number of elk in America has significantly dropped to illegal hunting of them. Elk prefer to inhabit forested areas at high altitudes within a range of a water source, making Walnut Canyon perfect for them. Herds can be commonly seen in Flagstaff and around Walnut Canyon. Although elk are timid by nature and they try to limit their interaction with humans, making them difficult to spot at the canyon. Probably the largest mammal in Walnut Canyon is the black bear. The American black bear is the most common bear in North America, and it is also the smallest. The black bear is the only species of bear still found in Arizona. Typically, black bears are solitary animals, unless it is a mother and her cubs or breeding pairs at a feeding site. Black bears are shy, curious, and intelligent. Numerous stories have been reported of bears coming to campsites at night to find food. And just like bears in cartoons, they use their nail to open up a car window and sneak in to find hidden food. Although you do not hear them entering a vehicle, it is almost like a hurricane came through and destroyed all of your gear. The safest time to camp without bears around is when they hibernate. Generally, black bears hibernate from November through March. 
Cubs are born during January in winter dens and usually come in pairs. The cubs along with their mother emerge from the dens in April and stay with their mothers through the first summer and fall, and then with their mothers through the second winter. Black bears prefer elevations from 4,000 to 10,000 feet in light to heavy forested areas. Again, this makes Walnut Canyon the perfect home for large mammals. If you spot a bear, do not approach them as they will get frightened and attacked. Walnut Canyon is home to many large mammals, not just the ones mentioned here today. Coyotes, mule deer, elk, and black bears are among some of the more common species at Walnut Canyon. If you remember some of the facts mentioned about each mammal, you may have a greater chance at seeing one. However, if you do spot these animals, admire them from a distance. Do not approach them. Nine times out of ten, they are more scared of you than you are of them. They are also extremely capable of causing serious harm to an individual. Just remember to keep a safe distance from them and not to startle them. I wish you luck with all of your adventures.